Let's turn to data intelligence platform Alation. Recently named Data Governance Partner of the Year, but get this, by both Snowflake and Databricks. CEO Sachin Sangani joins me here in San Francisco for more. I find this really interesting because Snowflake and Databricks, you could call them frenemies, you could call them rivals. They both pick you. That's an interesting triangle. Talk, me, talk to me about the relationship with both companies. Ed, thank you for having me. It's, it's great to be here. Both companies are quite interesting. They had their conferences this week. Both at the same time. Both at the same time, which may have been purposeful, may not. But both of them had 12,000 attendees at the conference. So while they both operate in the same space, they also have quite distinct audiences that use them and leverage them. Right. And quite indicative of the growth in data. If you think about 10 years ago when Alation was founded, when Databricks was roughly founded, when Snowflake was roughly founded, these are companies that had 2,500 people at the biggest data conferences, and now you have almost 10 times that amount. So both of them are indicative of the massive growth in data, and we're excited to be a part of it and excited to rationalize all of this data in the ecosystem. I reported recently that Databricks' SQL product had passed $100 million in annualized revenue. That's an area they're trying to grow, kind of puts them in an interesting territory with Snowflake. How do you work with both companies? It, 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 what is the interplay between Alation and their both sort of the, the, I mean, everything from ML and AI through to, to cloud-based enterprise is interesting. So we describe Alation as a data intelligence platform. What is that? What does that exactly mean? Well, if you live inside of the standard enterprise, think about companies like Pfizer and Cisco and Virgin Australia and NASDAQ, all of whom are Alation customers. These are companies that have petabytes and petabytes of data strewn across Databricks, Snowflake, Amazon, Microsoft, Oracle, all of this legacy technology that it has existed since you know, the last 20 years. And so what Alation does is it provides a map of your data so that any person can find and understand and trust that data. And as a result of that, we have over 500 customers, 35 of the Fortune 100 use us. But the broad idea is that if you exist inside of one of these companies, you basically are existing if you don't have Alation you know, as somebody maybe who's trying to navigate the streets of Boston without a map or, you know, trying to navigate the web without Google, it's just impossible to do. And we provide you with that capability. The to specific do that. use case right now is generative AI and in distinction from AI more broadly because you have to use your own data set to make a generative AI tool relevant to whatever it is you do. Where does Alation come in in that process? So you can't do trusted AI without having trusted data. And your own data. And on your own data or even on third-party data. So if you think about all of these models, they operate on a garbage-in, garbage-out basis. And particularly in the realm of structured data, if you have a really highly well-trained model operating off of very bad, poor data, what you're going to have is multiplicatively wrong answers. You're going to get consistently bad outputs. And so the ability to be able to locate the right data sets, the ability to understand that the data that you're feeding this model is appropriate and well, is a massive problem that every one of these companies has to deal with, and frankly, that Snowflake and Databricks has to deal with in order to get their customers to adopt at scale. The simple concept of the company, Alation, is to help an organization, its users, find, manage, trust the data that they're looking at. There's a lot of interest in your company for transparency, you raised $123 million in November, I think. That's right. And Databricks' venture arm did participate in that. So That's correct. You are their most trusted partner, but they also are one of your backers. Interesting valuation as well, $1.7 billion. How do you grow your business from here? We were, interestingly, at that point in time in November, 50% up, mar up when the rest of the market was 70%. Talking top-line growth. Uh, valuation. Got it. So our prior round valuation was done in 2021, which was at you know, close to the top of the market, not quite exactly the top of the market. Uh, but we were still 50% up when the rest of the market was 70% down, which is an indication to both the strength of the market, but also the strength of the business. In that last round, Snowflake was an investor in our company. And wh why are these companies invested? Because fundamentally, you can have all of the data in the world. But if you can't use it, if you can't understand it, if people aren't enabled with it, then it's really quite valueless. And, and so from our perspective, and I think from theirs, the real problem is enabling 
hundreds, if not thousands of people within the enterprise to actually leverage this stuff at scale. And the road has been up and to the right in general, but there is a lot of variation in terms of the returns on these projects. And so being able to return more reliably by basically building skills within each of these companies, within many of these companies, that's the real trick and that's what we try to help with. Alation CEO, Sachin Singhani, here with us in San Francisco and Bloomberg Technology.